What's up guys, it's Tyler McKinney back here again and today we're going to look at the XFL again and um, they released some new logos. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at those real quick and um, I'm going to give you my thoughts. Now they released three new logos, two of them for, are for the New York team and one's for the Dallas team. So let's go ahead and let's start and let's look at these. First off, let's go ahead and let's look at the two New York logos. Now I don't know why they just started doing that and uh, maybe they're finally starting to get their final designs down for maybe their uniforms and how they're going to actually officially um, brand this team. But they came out with two new logos. The first one we're going to look at is the one that's kind of... Um, uh, one that's done around the letters and that. So if if you look at it, it's got kind of this this G with some really hard corners on it, and then it's got the N and the Y inside of it. Um, just a, uh, I don't know, just kind of very much badgy and that. So I, I'm thinking that it's probably something that you might see on the shoulders of the um, of the uniforms and that. I, you know, I could see that used that way, maybe something, you know, that would kind of sit right here. I, I could see that badge type of a thing with it and, um, you know, get branded on there. I, I don't know if I would see that maybe being something on the helmet. It seems too kind of um, narrow for something of that, but it would be definitely a cool thing to put on a hat. Uh, for somebody wearing on a hat, I could I could see that as kind of a sweet thing on the hat, either on the front or you know on the back of the hat, with just kind of the little bit on the back, um, you know, just kind of that little emblem there, kind of where the you know you would think like normally like the NFL shield would sit on the back of the hat or something. I could I could see that with that, so I could see a lot of possibilities, um, you know, with this kind of the G for the Guardians with the N and the Y in it. So that's the first logo that they have that they put out, and um, it's okay. The second logo that they have that they put out, which um, I really like, it's kind of, it's the Guardian, and it's kind of now the front facing, whereas we saw the side of the, um, of, of kind of the gargoyle coming at us. This one, we kind of get them head on, and I really like it. Um, it's really cool. The only thing for me is it looks really more sphinxy than it really does look like like a gargoyle. I mean, it really has that that strong muscular look that you just um, that normally with a gargoyle I just don't get. So for this one, you know, um, I really like the logo. And again, it's another badge thing and so that you know with this one's really more badge and i could see this one um kind of being a secondary logo something that you're going to see probably maybe on the field i could see both of these really on the field for them something that's used on the field uh you know as you got the guardian's name and boom a badge there i could see this being kind of like you know in the middle of the field kind of on those um you know uh uh, where they do kind of on the like the 25 yard lines you know doing that on each side and then having the main logo in the middle or doing the n the nyg on the 25 yard lines so i could see these easily being those um those secondary logos and that with it which i i find pretty cool um i like both of them and i could easily see both of them kind of getting used uh, in secondary places, and especially on the field and in uniforms. So those are interesting. The The last one that they did is kind of this, for it's for the Dallas Renegades, and it's the R with this like circle around it. And, um, you know, I could see this something, again, uh, these, these I think are probably logos that they're going to use on the field or on the jerseys. I could see this being something on the shoulder, uh, something that, you know, could be right here. Again, something that they could use on a hat. It would be perfect. Like, you know how I got my hat backwards. It would be perfect, like, right there um, for it. The Renegade, I could see it in the end zone with the big R and then, you know, having the Renegades on that. 25-yard line badges. Um, you know, I... I could see that. I, I like this for the Renegades. I think it complements um, the, you know, the kind of the cowboy look of the logo. Because sometimes I could I could see the logo, their main logo with for the Renegades being a bit busy for you know some of the some of the uh, you know styling that they want to do, and so 
I, I could really see this this kind of R with the circle around it really breaking things down for them. And something that's just just um, a little less busy when they want to have more of a basic logo on things. So I, I like how they did this. Um, and to it kind of, it does kind of give me that superhero vibe. It does kind of look like Robin. Not a whole lot, but it does kind of remind me of like Batman and Robin and give me the Robin thing, which, hmm. You know, this one I'm not as like tickled about, but I do like the looks of it. I think it'll it'll complement things really well. I think it'll be nice there to kind of tame some things down. Whereas that, um, like I said, the kind of cowboy thing looks kind of a little busy. I think this thing kind of takes things down. So, but I just wanted to go ahead. I want to get my quick little thoughts in there as we kind of see some of this branding. It'll be interesting to see how it is is used. Um, as we go forward, we saw them use the kind of the secondary uh, logos when they first trademarked the first logos and how they used those um, on the website. I checked the website. I haven't seen any of these logos on the website yet. So it'd be interesting to see in the next couple of days if they add these to the website and we see some of that stuff or if they're really starting to, you know, ramp things up to kind of start to lay out how they're going to do, you know, uniforms, how they're going to do the field. So it'd be interesting to see. But those are just my thoughts. The question is, what do you think? What do you think about these logos? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Are there something that maybe, eh, not so good? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Please like the video. Please subscribe. I really could use your help. All right. Well, I know that you guys are busy, and I know that I'm busy. So you have a good night. All right.